my favorite one, can you make it clap? Control me, fight it, tat, tat, tat I'm grabbing on your hips, hit it from the back Control me, fight it, tat, tat, tat Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, yeah Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, yeah Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, yeah Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, You ain't coming, Pops? Uh, yeah, no, that's not a, that's a negative for me, dog it's, Look at you Look at like Rico You're gonna, you're gonna Look at like Rico Slava out here You want me in this room I know But you guys, nice and early, you have fun She reads everything So I'm sure you guys <laughs> have a good time But I'll see when you get back I got my baby Bye Let's go Alright <laughs> So we've had company over the past couple weeks. Ooh. Suffice it to say, don't fall off the <laughs> Suffice it to say, we have nothing left in our refrigerator, nothing left in our cabinets. The cupboards are bare and it's time to go grocery shopping. Derek hates to go grocery shopping. So I grabbed Riley to show you what we do to fill our cabinets, fill our refrigerator, vegan style. Vegan style, let's get it. <laughs> I don't know much about vegan style, but let's get it. <laughs> Y'all got a chili in here today. To be successful at the grocery store, there are definitely some tricks. Number one, first and foremost, do not go to the grocery store hungry. You will end up buying more than you need to buy and you will forget to buy what you need to buy. That's what I do all the time. <laughs> Make sure you have a little snack. Make sure your belly is full so that you're not looking to buy everything. Second, go comfortably, meaning that don't wear shoes that give you blisters. Don't wear clothes that feel uncomfortable. Go comfortably. I have a little dress on. I'm super comfortable. I have my sandals on that are not touching my blisters from my new sneakers from my five mile walk yesterday. So I'm really good to go. Third, bring a shopping list so you remember to get what you want and you stay focused on what you need. The best way to create your list is to decide what kind of meals you want to make for that week so that you can look at the ingredients you need and get those ingredients. Also stock up your cupboards for things that you might have run out that you use in bulk. Another thing to remember, don't bring someone that hates groceries shopping, grocery shopping. Derek hates grocery shopping. So all he does is complain and trails me and reads magazines, which sends me. So instead of saying, no, I want you to come with me so you do equal amount of work. Anyway, <laughs> it's not a tit for tat. Sometimes the division of labor is just that. He does stuff that I don't necessarily like to do. I do stuff that he doesn't necessarily like to do. And then we both do things together that might be fun. Every once in a while, Derek will go grocery shopping with me, but it's gotta be a nice grocery store, quiet time of the day. But for these big hauls, it's usually just me. And Riley's always fun to go grocery shopping with, so every once in a while, I take him too. Yeah. <laughs> now it's getting a little hot up in here. Getting a little hot. I'm gonna need a little lower than 69. Bring it down to 61, Poppy. Thank you very much. <laughs> grocery shopping, I go to our local grocery store. It rhymes with mouths. Basically, these grocery stores are every couple miles in Southern California. And it really has a great selection of organic fruit, organic vegetables, organic grains, and anything else I really want. Organic vegan proteins, and whatever I don't find there, I will maybe go to. Whoa, I just lowered the window with my oh. goddamn forehead. <laughs> Hold on. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Technical problems. Yep. Because oh. <laughs> you hit oh. a bump. I go to the local grocery store, rhymes with mouths. And after that, I might stop into Trader Joe's or Sprouts, Whole Foods. Whole Foods is further away from me, but so I don't really need to go there for anything, actually. Although I do love their organic 365 brand. You can get some good deals. I have a question. Why aren't you saying Ralph's? I don't know. Why was I saying Ralph's? Because I feel like they've seen you walk into Ralph's multiple times. True. Especially the one I edited. Definitely had video of you going into Ralph's. Okay, so Ralph's. <laughs> I love Ralph's. Y'all right? Y'all right? Pocketbook is attacking me. All right, sorry. Okay, so let's just say that I love Ralphs. I like Ralphs too. I think a lot of Californians, is that what they're called? Yeah. I think a lot of Californians like Ralphs. I'm not calling myself a Californian because I'm a New York Knight. New Yorker. New Yorker? Manhattanite. Manhattanite, that's what it's called. I'm a Manhattanite. Born and raised in New York City, baby. Until I'm out in California for more than the years that I've grown up in New York City, which is 18 years, I will forever be a New Yorker and a Manhattanite. Best believe that. Wow, did you see that bird? No. It is like Jurassic Park. Nature attacking <laughs> us on the highway. We have made it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the 
queen has arrived. <laughs> what the queen wants are some bags for groceries. What the queen wants is what the queen gets. All right, don't look at my disgusting face. <laughs> it is a beautiful day to go grocery shopping. It is. <laughs> well, I always put my grocery bags on the handle so they don't take up room. Otherwise, I bury them on the bottom of all my food and I can't get them to the checkout person. It is Halloween and Christmas are my, are my two favorite seasons. I'm so happy that it's about to be Halloween season. Spooky! <laughs> so the majority of our stuff is going to be in the produce. So we're going to get all our fruits, veggies, herbs, everything. I always start at the side of the store where I can get the stuff on the bottom and it won't get crushed, which is the liquor. Uh, Gotta fix my bracelet. Uh, hit it, hit it, yeah, hit it. Turn up, turn up. <laughs> all right. Daddy's favorite one. We'll get him He's something special, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ready? Over here is the meat aisle. You can find your plant-based proteins here. We're trying not to use these so much anymore, so maybe once a week we might make a burger, use this for my lasagna. You know, it's just a flavoring, but I'm really trying to eat less of this stuff. What's interesting is I think other people are too because the prices are really dropping. Wow, yeah, that says That's $4. Crazy. Yeah, so cheap. It's usually like 9 or $10. Yeah. yeah, I mean, wait, so you said you don't want to eat this because cause this is usually what I go to to be like healthy and vegan, you know what I'm saying? This, this, is, this is a good transitional product. While you're trying to eat less meat and incorporate more plant-based, it's like a good substitute, but it doesn't want to be a forever main option. Well, I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all transition in, Impossible is definitely better than Beyond. So, you're welcome. And you heard it from a non-vegan. Impossible is better than Beyond. Don't get it twisted. These are crackers, and I honestly stay away from the crackers. Uh, they're super expensive. They're processed, usually high in salt. You're talking about the Ritz? That's really not good for you. These are like the healthier crackers, a lot of the plant-based crackers. They're super expensive and not super great for us. I'd rather dip my stuff in whole grain bread or some vegetables. No. <laughs> What's so bad about it? It says processed things in it that your body doesn't even recognize as food. It's crackers. It's not just crackers. No. So you're getting mad. <laughs> you say that as a guy with a Ritz shirt walks right by you. Yeah, you won't take it personally. She out here disrespecting the Ritz workers. You know what? I'm down for everyone to work, but I'm saying I don't want that processed stuff going into your body. Okay, over here, this is a really great product. This is tahini. It's organic tahini. It's ground sesame seeds, and you can use it in sauces, hummus, lots of stuff. You can make lots of dips out of it. Super yummy. I also always like to have some nut butters on hand. So I like crunchy peanut butter, and you want to make sure that it's literally just peanuts. I love to have a crunchy almond butter. So this just says just peanuts and salt. I get my sourdough, my organic sourdough at the farmer's market, but here at the grocery store, I like to just get a really great sandwich bread. These are my two favorite brands. You want to get something that's definitely organic, something that's whole grain, where you can just feel that it's dense, there's a lot of nutrition in it, and you always want to read the label. That would be bread. And also they have some really healthy options for burger buns, bagels. Just look at your ingredients and make sure it's whole grain and organic. She's running away, guys. She's running away. You also want to get some pita. I love pita because I can make wraps, you know, little sandwiches out of it. I can bake squares or triangles of it and use them for dip. I can just rip them off and use quick, you know, dip. So get definitely get pita. We love our chips, and this is the only chip we get. It's so good. I always have mixed nuts on hand. They are a great snack. Get them with a little bit of sea salt. Really great, but just make sure that you measure out a handful and have that, and you just don't want to dive into the thing and keep them next to where you're sitting, because then you'll eat the whole thing. So creamers for tea and coffee. There's lots of different choices. I get one that is zero sugar, and then I can add my own sugar and have it be more controlled. It's made from coconuts and almonds. Barbin. How you look so perfect on your worst day. <laughs> so this is the frozen veggie aisle and a bunch of other stuff, but I love to have frozen veggies on hand. They're great for like soups and quick stir fries. They don't go bad. You know what she also likes, y'all? Frozen fruit. <laughs> frozen fruit? Pasta fruit? Um, was there fruit? I don't know. No, I don't think there's fruit. No, that's seafood. Frozen fruit? 
I don't know where the place is. Maybe it's where the hamburgers are. <laughs> I love to have frozen peas, mm. a frozen mixed veggie, uh. frozen spinach, and all of these are organic. Uh. Yeah. So when Riley first moved out of my house, he would call me literally every single night from the grocery store asking me what I'm finding in my different recipes. Because of the time difference, he'd be calling me at 8 o'clock his time, 11 p.m. my time. It was so funny. I knew it every night when the phone would ring at 11 o'clock my time, it would be Riley talking to the grocery store. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a mama, you gotta use it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Ezekiel friend, really good friend, sprouted greens, Organic. Slam that so tight you drop on the bears. It just has all sorts of really good and it comes in different flavors. It's on the pricier side, but they have cinnamon raisin, all different ones. It's in the freezer aisle here. It's a really good brand. So I love ice cream and I love these sweet desserts. They're really pricey. It's like four of them for six or seven dollars. So if you look at my video that we just posted a couple weeks ago, I make my own ice cream and it's so freaking good. I edited it, so go check it out. She done found the frozen right. fruit. So with the frozen fruit, I love this Simple Truth brand. It's reasonably priced and it's organic. I'm gonna always have my freezer, you know, to make sorbets and smoothies and just put on top of my ICA bowls or my whatever I want, my yogurt. So there's frozen blueberries, mixed berries, strawberries, peaches, pineapples, mangoes, you name it. Right now I have a huge bag of blueberries in my freezer, so I'm gonna go through that before I get something new. It's just a really great area to have fruit at all times. For snacks, breakfast, something to add, you know, my frozen fruits or whatever, I always like to have a couple of yogurts on hand. These are plant-based. Getting refrigerated plant milks, I like to have them in the boxes, easy storage, just to take up room in my refrigerator, but I can have different kinds. So I'm gonna get two coconut, two almond, and two soy. I always like to have tea on hand for great on a cool night, great to calm me down at the end of the day, not feeling so great. I just go to my supermarket here and look at the organic teas. These are the Simple Truth, I think, which is kind of like their store brand. And I'll just get like a green tea, a ginger turmeric, maybe an elderberry, a chamomile, there's a jasmine green, and they're all really reasonably priced and organic. So I always like to have some flour on hand for if I feel like making a dessert that's pretty much all I use it for. And you want to just make sure you get organic flour. I always have an all-purpose on hand as well as, as a whole wheat. I also love to have panko breadcrumb. It's organic. This one is $4, whereas this, oh, this name brand is $7. So you really want to look around and make sure you're getting what you want, best quality for the lowest price. Also for my different recipes and baking, always have on hand an organic brown sugar, an organic powdered sugar, and an organic coconut sugar. Where was the maple syrup? Maple syrup is my number one thing for sweetening coffee, sweetening my sauces. I sweeten everything with maple syrup. For chocolate chips, you have to make sure that they don't have any milk products in them. So you want to find a semi-sweet. Look at the back of the ingredients, make sure it doesn't have any dairy in it. And I like to have these as I make a dessert. Sometimes I sprinkle them on top of my smoothies. But I love chocolate, and that's a good way to incorporate it into your food. Oops. I think last time you put the chocolate away over here, you had some issues with it too. You know what? I'm gonna actually, this, this means I should take it. <laughs> okay. 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 This is my favorite maple syrup. It's organic, big sucker, so it is, you know, maple syrup is not cheap, but I use it for everything. I use it sparingly. It takes me a long time to go through this. I already have one home, so I'm not gonna grab this one, but um, look for a nice organic maple syrup, what I sweeten almost everything with. I'm having deja vu because we just took a whole circle, and now I'm looking at some chocolate chips <laughs> again. <laughs> Life is crazy, guys. <laughs> Want all of your staples. This is nutritional yeast, get an organic one. So good for everything. It gives that cheesy, vegan, cheesy flavor. I put it in my mac and cheese, I put it in my scrambled eggs. So one of our favorite vegan proteins is called seitan. We can make steaks out of it, burgers out of it, sausage out of it, hot roast out of it, beef stew out of it. There's a beef stew recipe on our channel. And it starts vital wheat gluten. Vital wheat gluten. Also add in some chickpea flour, and this is what we make seitan out of. 
Not Satan, Satan. So don't get and twisted, all right? Daddy goes, Satan! <laughs> Satan, Satan. Satan, Satan. So you want the balsamic vinegar, the red wine vinegar, you want to have apple cider vinegar. So for oil, I use two oils. My raw things, I use extra virgin olive oil, which I also will saute with sometimes, but I mostly saute with coconut oil. So I have my coconut oil already at home that I got from Costco. I have this that I get from here. Okay. Ah, so much better. This is um, a brand of salsa that I love. Sometimes they have it organic, sometimes they don't. If they don't, I get it. You get it either way. But it just has really clean ingredients. It's really good. And it comes in mild, spicy. I get medium. Here it goes. rice noodles. Again, I try to make everything organic, everything whole grains. I'm getting brown rice noodles. And these are great for stir fries. Sometimes Derek doesn't want rice. This is a rice noodle. I was like, why is it so loud? It's because we're right above the speaker. See it? I missed it. <laughs> Let's go. These are my favorite tortillas. Fine. They're big, put a lot into them, make a whole meal out of them. Plus, when I do a Mexican lasagna or something, they're really big, so I can... If you don't want those, you can get the smaller ones. I don't know if my little ass stove could take a big ass tortilla like that. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I love this sweet Thai chili sauce. I love this goju, goju, go, goju jang sauce. Get a gal, get a gang? Yeah, it's like a Asian hot sauce. Then when I make my own sauces, I normally just use a sesame oil. I use an organic soy sauce or a tamari. I usually have a rice wine vinegar, and then I just kind of things and I have um, my teriyaki stir fry on our YouTube channel and that's pretty much how I do an Asian sauce. I love sour cream. We still have sour cream but we have plant-based sour cream. And again it's quite simple truth. I think you're seeing a theme here that I love some of My favorite butter is Miyoko's. It is on the pricier side. The ingredients are definitely cleaner. It's coconut oil, cashew milk, and water and a little bit of sunflower oil. Yeah this has a lot of canola oil in it which we really want to stay away from the seed oils as much as we can. I don't use a lot of butter, but the one I use is a Miyoko's because it is a better ingredient. So I like to have a brown rice on hand, red lentils for my red lentil soup, and I think I'm going to do that in my next video because it's my family loves it. Red lentils, we're going to have quinoa for our drinks, even a red quinoa. I like farro too, but they don't have organic farro, so where did I just get it from? Oh, I just got an organic farro from Costco. And I make coconut rice, which I am obsessed with right now. That starts with a white organic rice. I like to have applesauce on hand, like an unsweetened organic applesauce, because it's how I make my baked goods, my vegan baked goods, moist. For a plant-based diet, one of the best proteins that we use are legumes and beans. So I always have a really good amount of chickpeas, which are garbanzo beans, black beans, pinto beans. Here's a triple blend. That's cool because I love making bean salads. They're so yummy and so, so good for you. Bean medley. This is perfect for a bean salad. Do you like beans, Riley? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of beans or any vegetables. Is a bean a vegetable? Does that still fall under vegetable? I don't know, we have to, we have to investigate that. <laughs> Comment down below if a bean is a vegetable. Let me know, boys and gals. I love sauerkraut. I love making vegan sausage and putting sauerkraut on it. This is just, and it's really, really good for you. You can get it here, organic, 250 for a jar. Instead of buying boxes of veggie broth, get this better than bouillon seasoned. They usually have it here, it's organic. And you can literally make your own. You can put this into stews, into soups, into sauces, and it gives such a yummy flavor. So this is a great base for a lot of stuff. I love lasagna, so I always get these organic lasagna noodles. They're the only organic ones I can find. Do this to see what's, what's broken. You don't want a lot of broken noodles. So I try to find one that doesn't make a lot of, doesn't make a lot of noise. That's pretty good. That's a cool trick. I'm going to use that. I didn't even know that. And then I like to just have in my pantry some staple pastas, chickpea pastas, red lentil pasta. It's 
so, so good. I have a ton of organic pasta from Pasta at home. Get these two things because they're really good and I can't find them anywhere else. I usually make my own barbecue sauce, but in a pinch, you want to have a good organic barbecue sauce on hand. You also need the barbecue with the barbecue, you know what I'm saying? So our favorite hot sauces are Cholula and Crystal. If you're from the East Coast, if you know, you know. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you're broke. No, I'm joking. <laughs> and then for my recipes, or just to use on sandwiches, I always have a yellow mustard, a Dijon mustard, not honey mustard, because that's not vegan. Then I always have an organic ketchup, and then we're going to do the mayonnaise in another aisle. I'm rocking with the Heinz, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like the organic ketchup because it tastes a little too earthy for me, like you just what? got it out the garden. That is crazy. All right, wait, we got to hey, do the pasta. to eat your own, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Usually, Simple Truth Organic is the cheapest organic sauce, three forty nine, but this is three twenty nine on sale. This New York blend, Italian herbs. You know what I was thinking you should do? Comment down below if you guys want her to do it. Give her a budget, and she has to get vegan dinner with that budget, Ooh. and make it. You know, like pop the out the pan. I like that challenge. You like the challenge? Because I, I know vegan food can be very expensive sometimes, especially organic food can be expensive. So I think that that's the next video we might do. Comment below if you guys want that. Right in front of my face, and I can't tell. Her. I don't know the words yet. Finally. <laughs> yeah, I just made a TikTok literally saying how crazy that to eat healthy you have to pay more. It should be reversed. So far for vegan protein, we've talked about seitan with the vital wheat gluten and the chickpea flour. We have gotten all those beans that we're going to do really cool recipes with. And then tofu is another staple. So versatile. Get extra firm tofu, freeze it, defrost it. It really takes on a meat-like flavor. It's a sponge, so whatever you season it with is what it becomes. And we still love the taste of cheese, so we use vegan cheese. And our favorite vegan cheeses are Follow Your Heart with the pecan. Parmesan and the feta. And for shreds, the best ones that I found are from Jaya. And I'll get a Mexican four cheese blend, the spicy Monterey Jack style, and then I'll get a mozzarella. Mozzarella. I'm actually gonna get another one because this is on sale for $3.99. That is a crazy good price. Remember to check your sell by dates. I literally checked, they were all like close to getting, you know, expired. I reached in all the way in the back and found the new box, and I took the brand new stuff that doesn't expire until a month from now. Also for my stir fries, some of my casseroles, my salads. I always have an olive on hand. My favorite is Kalamata olive. And I always have some pickles on hand that I can chop up for sauces, sandwiches, these are little kosher dill pickles. I like to find organic ones. And they're just really versatile and giving that savory, yummy flavor. My vegan egg salad, my vegan chicken salad. I just eat them with a sandwich. So here is where I'm going to get most of my ingredients. And I'm going to really fill up this card. This is going to be fruit, vegetables, and herbs. And that's about it. We have hit the motherland. Of fruit and vegetables. <laughs> I'm tell you guys, let's just take a commercial break here. I love my son so much. And I have such a good time with him. OK, that's it. <laughs> I always have a ton of bananas because I keep like a bunch of them frozen. They go into my smoothies. I make my banana ice cream out of them. I always have a huge amount of bananas frozen and on the counter. I just use some and they bust in my banana bread. So, yeah. <laughs> Trying to fight off some vampires or something out here. Like, I know it's Halloween, but uh, y'all know something I don't know. saying you like beats. She was not lying when she says she stuffs this up. I tell you it's gonna be so nice when I go outside because I am freezing. Look at the hair standing up on my arm. See them goosebumps right there? It's no joke. Um, 
uh, I want to say it was that way. Press a little uh, freak out button. We don't even know where we're parked right now. <laughs> All right, over there. <laughs> All right, we got it. We did it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for coming with me and Riley. We had fun. We did some shopping. We got some staples. I'm going to fill my refrigerator and my pantry with these amazing finds. This is really going to hold us over for two weeks. We're going to be dos. able to, yeah, what? I said dos. <laughs> dos weeks is what I'm going to cook with, and I might fill in a little bit with some fruits and vegetables that I run out of, but this is pretty much it for me for two weeks. Subscribe if you guys liked what you saw if you had fun if you went and this is not your first video and you've watched some recipe videos or some lifestyle videos from us subscribe we do really it appreciate it we love you so much and we'll see you on the next your spicy vegans with sherry and Derek Woo! featuring rosebud <laughs> all right so adios Shake it from a baby, wonder can you make it clap? Control me, fight it, tap, tap, tap. I'm grabbing on your hips, hit it from the back. Control me, fight it, tap, tap, tap. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from me, baby, make that ass a nerve quake. No debate, wanna see you what you need your worst way. Picking up a bottle, cause I know you like some dust, eh? My belly like a model, it's a mask, got a freaky egg. Real she a 10, better than a bench, she gon' shake when I'm a feeling like